Roar. Hello, my friends. I hope the clickbait worked and you clicked because of... I apologize. Welcome to another edition, my friends, of Whining with the Big Guy right back. We have upgraded, if you haven't noticed. We have a new color robed. I know a lot of you were requesting different colors. Um, guys, It's there's only so many different robes we can do. This is a nice fleece robe. I, same brand as the last. And they are limited in their 3XLs or the biggest size that they had that fits me. I'm not a robe guy uh, on most occasions, but uh, their colors are limited. So uh, they got a lot of uh, different, they got some uh, flannel type patterns. And I'm not really a, I don't really want to Al Borland it on this show. You know, some of you kids aren't going to know what the hell I'm talking about. Home improvement. <laughs> For you kids out there, you don't know. You just don't know. You don't know. It's not your fault. But anyways, guys, we have these nice whining with the Ryback glasses. Not for sale. Yeah, we're going to see if you would like to, if you yourself would like to purchase a whining with the Ryback wine glass. Let us know. We'll make it happen. I had my people say, let's make wine glasses for the people. I go, wait. Let's wait for the people to give their answer. You just don't put the stuff out there and assume that that's what they want. The people want it. The people will let you know. And I want you guys to let me know in the comment section. We're going to dive in, guys. We're going to try. We're going to try to keep this to about 15 minutes today. I know I turn into a real chatty Kathy on these things. But it's my show, and I'll do whatever the hell I please. For newcomers. Oh, Instagram is starting up again. Floyd Mayweather in a suit and catering. Sweet. That pops right up. Okay. Anyways, guys. Today's wine is Empathy Wines by Gary Vaynerchuk. The unofficial official wine of whining with the Ryback. Go ahead and top that off. <laughs> I just get a little more. We got to save a little for later. Guys, what I do for the newcomers on the show is I read negative, hateful comments. And I try to respond as kindly and nicely as possible. Does, is that always the case? Not always, but the majority of the time. Okay, Instagram. Fuck you! Stupid! I deal with anger issues sometimes, guys. And I'm working really hard at it. Trying to better myself. But I figure if I'm 90% of the time cool, calm, and collected, and now the other 10% raging Ryback, I'm okay with that because that's winning for me. The Instagram app is starting to play games with me, guys. I feel like Instagram is working against me. Ever since I pulled my ad money, they've been playing games with all my things, my engagement, my accounts, and they flat out have told me. We're not going to let that ruin us, though, guys. But we have comments from people, and guys, and for everybody out there, the negative comments do not bother me. I encourage them, guys. I'm just going to, you're going to be blocked or hide loser or user, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I am going to start breaking shit. This show will be canceled before it even gets going. I will smash this wine glass in my hand. I just want to read comments. They know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And then they start the games. Oh, I say a lot of things on my phone. A lot of things on my phone just so they know that I don't give a fuck. Okay. You can know everything about me. I don't care. Tell me your secrets. All right, guys. I'm just going to continue to be me, guys. I don't know what else to do. It's too hard playing other roles. I just like being myself. Okay. So, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to fucking restart this stupid Samsung tablet. Because it is, it, it's not giving me any issues. I've been taking the Damon John business course here. We're going to go ahead and restart. I apologize. I, they heard me say I wanted to keep this to 15 minutes. 
and they want to go ahead and they know I'm cool, calm, and collected on these shows. So they're like, oh, let's show the people that he's not. Son of a bitch. They got me. But guys, I'm going to read comments. And the negative comments, guys, I, I just don't like when people try to, like, it's okay and we're not all going to like anything. I like, I respect that a lot, actually. It's the people that, like, actually take the time to post and comment to try to make other people feel bad. I think it's really stupid. I think it just shows lack of self-control that you can't just stop looking at what you don't like and move on to something that you like. I think that shows a severe lack of self-control. Makes no sense to me, actually. And then that you would, like, want to make, like, somebody feel bad. Like, that's, to me, that's, like, the ultimate level of uh, being a piece of shit. But here we are, and I'll monetize it and have a little fun and make it entertaining because it's a lot harder. I do boozing with the big guy, but it's a lot harder to be funny with, like, positive comments. Negative comments, though, you can be pretty damn funny. Oh, you think you're so goddamn funny. You're so conceited. Oh, dum 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 dum. Ah, okay. We got the we got it going again. Patient mobile data is now turned off. I didn't turn it off. This is you're making me look really stupid on my own show, tablet. All right, guys. I got a nice ring light too for the people bitching about the lights. I apologize. I don't give a shit about any of this stuff. And I don't care if you, like, if the lights bothered you, I would just, like, want you to leave. I don't, like, I'm not, like, obsessed. Like, we're like, no, I need your view. Like, I already got it. Leave. Don't watch me ever again. There's over 7 billion people. I'll find the people that like me eventually. I'm okay losing, losing, like, all the time. I'm just trying to win more than I lose. Fuck. I'm okay 50-50. 50 people love me. 50 people hate me. I got 50 people that love me. That's all I'm going to focus on. But here on Winding with the Ryback, we're going to focus on those negative lost souls that are miserable pieces of shit. Okay, here we go. Come on, I don't want to... Okay, we're back in. We're in the game. Now it's... I, you guys, I can't make this up. Now it's not loading. If you don't think Instagram plays games with people... Okay. This is quite concerning. They're watching this. I can't even get into my show. It's eight minutes and 22 seconds. Let me read the comments. Okay. I already feel like this is going to close out, but we're going we're gonna to be positive. It's going to work this time. Yes. Sweet. Uh, Carlos Russell says, you dummies, do you, you people even know what you're consuming? The burgers have aluminum in it. I think you met in them. So clearly Carlos Russell, you have had a lot of burgers. Moving on. Um, better now Goldberg. Is that you? Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you for watching. All right. Ha. Ah, this is from the Real Good Foods video. Ahmad Hijazi or Hijaz. The worst YouTuber, guys. This guy is a bully. Ahmad, I'm looking at your picture of some sort of animal. I think it's like a lion. It's not a picture of you, that's for sure. Um, I don't know how to break this to you, pal. But professional wrestling, and I know there's certain pro, certain pro wrestlers that don't like to use the word fake. I don't give a fuck, and I use the word fake. And I've had some serious injuries. But it is fucking fake fake but there's a lot of very real things in it as well as far as the physicality and being a power wrestler that puts stress on your bodies and conditioning and endurance that is very real but it's entertainment it's all acting Ahmad so anytime you saw me playing a role of a bully on TV 
I was acting, my friend. So the fact that you truly believe in real life that I am a bully is truly a testament to my acting skills. And you should be focusing on the positive, you asshole, in telling me how good of an actor I am at playing a bully. But no, you want to sit there and say I'm the worst YouTuber. I'm pretty clear the analytics and the stats are, say I may be the hottest rookie of the year on YouTube. If there is a YouTube rookie of the year, Ahmad, you're looking at it, my friend. And I haven't even gotten started yet. Just imagine when I start putting up my extremely heavy lifts that my body's coming back training with Nick Best, you asshole. Today I just squatted 505 for the first time in probably five or six years. Relatively easy. And we just stopped because of my shoulder and a little bit. I'm really tight from the new fit stuff we were doing. And we have not touched weights like this in a long time. And deadlift to 375 for 20 reps, which you can look at my Instagram. The big guy right back 22. And see those lifts that will be posted very shortly tonight. You son of a bitch, Ahmad. God, what do you... If you're a kid, Ahmad, you're just a stupid kid, okay? And I, you've got time to not be a stupid kid. And I say that nicely, but... I mean, I knew wrestling was fake the whole time. So, like, how the fuck you don't... I don't know. I assume it's from having stupid parents. But I'm 99% I'm positive that's why I'm right. That I am right, not why I'm right. All right, oh, this is mean. My datnoid. Mo, mo, mo datnoid. This is from the Feed Me More Fitness Rebuilding Ryback, and he claims he's never done juice. I wish him all the best, but he does not look a thing like his WWE days. That's just mean. Mo, did you look at my Instagram when I posted my ab shot here recently at 295 between that and 300 pounds on most days? And had four, having 14 stem cell procedures and having to limit myself to very light weights and machines for the last three years and still maintaining pretty much all my size and shape just outside of I've lost some muscle density from not being able to train the way that I was training. and But like I've held it together fucking fairly well and rebuilt five discs in my back. I'm a walking, talking, fucking movie, you dumb shit. How do you not see that? Yet you want to insult me from working out with my good friend, Phoenix Marie? That's so mean. And by the way, like, if you saw me in person and I took my shirt off in front of you like I do all the ladies, you'd be fucking impressed, you son of a bitch. But I wouldn't take my shirt off in front of you. Never. Ever! Okay, that was weird. Moving on. Uh, Ivan Sanchez, he has a picture of himself, so I, I'm not even this, this, I like it when they have the pictures of themselves. It's because if it was a person like that said it in person, I would just rub him on the head and wish him a good day. Let's get that Ivan Sanchez comment. Get that Ivan Sanchez. So then, period, period, period. Went from feed me more to stuff myself with garbage. Partially correct. Stuff myself with garbage. Food you probably eat all the time based off your profile picture, Ivan. Um, Sundays for my cheat meal. Which, do you send shit like this to The Rock when he does like 10 times the amount of shit I do on his cheat meal? Ivan, because I would like to see you do that with Dwayne. Um, also, I run Feed Me More Nutrition. Uh, I've made... We're not going to say that. It's, it's fucking... I don't need to say that. I got to stop doing that. and Don't need to put that out there and rub it in the face of Ivan. I do well, Ivan. And I have my Cobby podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, which is growing and growing and growing and growing. Getting better every week. And I do food videos to talk to people because people are interested in the food videos. And you have to know your audience and you connect with them however you can. So. I hope you find ha happiness, Ivan, in whatever it is that you want to do in your life. Maybe you should try eating food and talking, Ivan. Let's see how many views you get. Let's see how many people buy your supplements, listen to your podcast. 
Ivan. And then using the money to put into marketing and into your investments to further your power and everything that you're doing with time and patience, Ivan. Or do you go work for somebody else like a little bitch, Ivan? Huh, Ivan? What's your story, my friend? And the people watching that work for other people, you are not little bitches. Only Ivan. He is a little bitch. But Ivan, I pat you on your head, Mongo. Move along. <sighs> Frank Santa Siri. God, some stupid last names. One chip in the video is 18 minutes. Hmm. That, that was the emoji. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Yes, I talk in my videos. And I also did that Pocky Chip probably better than everybody on YouTube. So, Frank, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm kidding, Frank. I hope you're doing okay. Moving on. Oh, Metal Crow. Another miserable soul. I'm going to pour a little more wine here. Shout out to Gary Vaynerchuk. Metal Crow says, fucking off just five minute to talk only. Again, it's not spelled like there's a little, there's some mistakes in this. Misspelled a few words and, uh, but yeah, I talk in all my videos. That's the whole point. The actual stuff that I'm doing is not the point for me. That's just, I do things that people, that, and I want to entertain people, what people are interested in seeing, while I do what I'm interested in doing. If you don't get that, unsubscribe now! We just lost 50 people. Fuck! Oh, well, we'll gain 100 more tomorrow. Actually, more like 1,500 a day. <laughs> Moving on. Um... Blood, Sweat, Tears, Wrestling, TV 14, wrote, Why are you driving while eat a Carolina Reaper chip again? Misspelled. It would be while eating a Carolina Reaper chip. What fucking times are we living in? These are basic sentences. Um, I drove because I ate the original Pocky chip and I knew what it was like. And I wasn't worried that I ate it and drove out of the gas station, literally 50 feet and made a right turn right back into the Starbucks parking lot. And I knew myself where I was at on the heat scale enough that I knew I wasn't going to be like, oh my God, ah, 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 oh my God, I just ran over three people, fuck my brother's a fucking fire. I knew I wasn't going to react like that. So I ate the chip, drove, because I want people to realize that how with mental brain power and everything, I want people to understand. Okay, just I'm going to break this down, blood, sweat, and tears wrestling. I want people to understand how much of a fucking badass I am without having to fucking say it all the time, okay? Okay? So I show... That this big body isn't from fucking steroids and a bunch of other bullshit. It's from mental, my mental fucking power and my, my ability to believe in myself in tough, challenging times. God, I don't want to have to explain my videos and my secret to my formula. Here I go explaining it, though. I have to. Idiocracy! Watch the movie. It's hilarious. And we are there already. Okay. Hydroponic says, why don't you eat different types of can dog food? It was caps in the next video. Because I'm not a dog, you son of a bitch. But if I was, I'd be a pit bull, a wild pit bull, an untamed pit bull, a pit bull you couldn't when you wouldn't want to pet, a pit bull you wouldn't want to leave alone, a pit bull you wouldn't want around kids or other dogs. Do you understand me? What was your fucking name again? Hydroponic. 
I'm a pit bull you wouldn't want around, my friend. Because if I was, and I could speak as a dog, I would say, I would look right at your neck and I would say, feed me more. Well, 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 well. Moving on. Ah, uh, final comment. Oh no, wait, that was a meme. That's awkward. That was a meme. I accidentally, I accidentally sent a meme to the, <laughs> it's for women. It's women that when they have to admit they are wrong and have to apologize and all the things that they do to delay having to apologize. <laughs> that's funny. That, came to, that was unplanned. <laughs> I think that's everything, guys. Oh, we do have a, a comment from Terry Clark. Them peppers on the pecker is not fun. Gloves at all times, believe me. Oh, I know, Terry. I've made that mistake a time or two. It burns. The old fire pecker gets you every time. But guys, I thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully we'll cut this down a little bit. And uh, I got my nice candle right here. We got the nice ring light for people. Empathy Wines. Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms. And Ryback TV and Feed Me More Nutrition. Save 10% with podcast. Uh, I do that every time with YouTube 10. Discount code YouTube 10. My all natural supplement line. Sweetened with stevia and monk fruit. No artificial sweeteners or colors. Formulas that actually work. And please look at the reviews, guys. And uh, it looks like we're going to do a Thanksgiving edition to drop on Thanksgiving of me eating an entire Popeye's Cajun rubbed turkey. Uh, along with the meal that I have to eat with my family. How am I going to do it? I don't know. But clearly, I am getting a gut based off some other comments on my workout videos. Even though I passed, posted a very nice photo of my abs on Instagram. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm just, I'm showing, I'm documenting the comeback. I'm not at my, I'm not even close to where I'm going to be. We have started early. I wanted to wait till next year to do all this. But here I am. Quit creaking, chair. Guys, I thank you, though, for watching another edition of Whining with the Ryback. Leave me your negative comments so we can, we can talk about it on here next time. Be good human beings. Smile. Oh, another order. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. <laughs> ah, the joys of business. Provide good, do good, be good. Make people feel good. I promise you. Make people feel good. Wake up, wake up hungry. Even if you're fucking lost and don't know what you're fucking doing with your life. If you think you have no fucking purpose and you don't know, have any goals and you don't know what the hell you want to do with your life. You don't have a dream job. It's completely okay. You know what you do? You be a good human being and find things that make you happy and live your life and just do good. Do good. That's all you got to do. You don't have to be the greatest wrestler. You don't have to be the greatest fighter, the greatest boxer, the greatest NBA player, the greatest hockey player. It's a bunch of made up shit that humans made up to fill time. And people get good at it by focusing and, 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 and obsessing about it. And they do great things. It's awesome. But you, that doesn't mean that's what you have to do. You can work at McDonald's, guys. Just do your best. Work hard while you're working. Apply yourself and strive. Try to make little goals and improve yourself. Fucking put me in fucking McDonald's. Put me on fucking fries. How many of you think I'm going to be in fry, on fries in one year? I tell you where I will be. I'll be managing that fucking store. That's my mindset. What's yours? Whatever it is, just be, be good human beings. That's all that I want. Quit being pieces of shit. Don't let the media, don't let fucking all of society, don't let other people turn you into pieces of shit. That's my message to you. Wake up hungry however you can and treat other people good. I promise you if you're struggling and you're not happy and you think treating other people bad is going to improve your life, you're fucking wrong. I can promise you that. Life is energy. Our thoughts are energy. Read, educate yourself, listen to audiobooks, audible. Don't listen to what's on that TV. Don't. And that's all for tonight, guys. Thank you for watching. Winding with the right back.
Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.